Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Achievers Adda. So guys, uh, there is a, some sort of confusion which is there in the Tamil Nadu TRB Assistant Professor Recruitment syllabus related for the paper 1 and paper 2. Especially the paper 1 section B syllabus, what it is going to be. That's a confusion or a misconception which is created. Uh, I brought up some sort of analysis which is making a full clarity on this uh, syllabus aspect of the paper 1 and paper 2. Please do watch this entire video. Myself, Godnala Shivlingam, a qualified Najjar in Commerce. And here in this platform, I teach for the paper 1 UGC Net and paper 2 UGC Net Commerce. I am teaching since the last 6 years. So you can uh, join with us also and you can subscribe to this channel. Press the like button and do join in our WhatsApp group which we specifically created for Tamil Nadu Assistant Professor Commerce Aspirant Complete Guidance Purpose and you can also visit our website. The WhatsApp group link is given in the description. So do not forget to join. Do watch this entire video. I will give uh, full clarity on this which is most authenticated I can say. So let's get into the notification scheme of examination what they have mentioned first. As per the GO 246, whatever given by the Tamil Nadu uh, government by the higher education department, the, as per that only scheme of examination was as it is adopted. So here, total 200 marks exam is going to be there. That is for sure. In this two papers are going to be there. One paper is for 100 marks. One paper is for 100 marks. So total 200 written examination plus 30 marks interview is going to be there. This is one. Now in the scheme of examination, paper one, first paper 100 marks. 50 marks are MCQ based, which is from section A. And in this 50 MCQ also, 50 MCQ also 25 are from Tamil language related, 25 are from GK. That is paper 1, section A again divided into two parts. Section A 50 marks, again section A is on two parts. One is 25 Tamil language, 25 GK and current affairs. Chalo, let's go to the paper 2. This is purely MCQ, paper 1, section A. Section B of the paper 1 and section A and B of the paper 2. Section B of the paper 1, section A and B of the paper 2. Both means three papers, section B of the paper 1, section A and B of the paper 2, total three sections are going to be there in a paper 2, shall be as mentioned in the GMO 246 means, it will be total your uh, subject discipline related. How it is subject discipline related, I will tell you. Look at this here. Before going for this one, I just wanted to give one more clarity. The level of paper 1. Level of paper 1 section A, section B is there, paper 2, section A, section B is there. So, your yes, section B of the paper 1, which is this, it is going to be a basic level, basic level of understanding, memory and understanding level, memory based questions and understanding level questions will be there. As per the Bloom's taxonomy in our education system, we have five layers. One is Memory level, understanding level, third one will be applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. So first two levels, that means memory level and understanding level questions are going to be asked in section B of the paper one which is descriptive in nature. Okay. Next, section B of the paper two, section B of the paper two, advanced level. Same subject at a basic level, paper one section B and at an advanced level which is also descriptive. Advanced level means somehow applying practical knowledge or the analyzing, evaluating, creating. That high level advanced question, moderate to advanced questions will be there. Means you can say UGC net level, UGC net level type of questions they can ask from this section B of the paper 2. Section A of the paper 2 will be MCQ of the subject only. MCQ of the subject. This is the level of questions they are going to ask from section A and section B of the paper 1 and paper 2. Now look at the paper 1 entire section A is there, section B is there now. They clearly mention one hour will be given for this 50 questions for 50 marks, one question, one mark each. 
and your Tamil language will be there. Multiple choice question. This section is entirely MCQ model. In this MCQ, 25 is Tamil language related. 25 questions are GK and current affairs related. So, total 50. 25 plus 25 in section A of the paper 1. Whereas, section B, look at carefully. Section B, descriptive type of basic and understanding level of question. Memory and understanding level of questions. Descriptive in nature. From all the units. From the respective subject with the adequate choice. Respective subject means whatever your paper to subject is there. The same subject related memory or understanding level means basic level to moderate level questions. In a descriptive way they are going to ask from the section B. Two hours time will be given for five questions out of eight questions of descriptive in nature. So five into ten marks which will be fifty marks. Descriptive from paper to whatever the syllabus is there, subject to paper. Suppose let's say example commerce. Commerce syllabus, whatever given for paper 2, same will apply for section B of the paper 1. Whatever all units of paper 2, section uh, B or A given for the paper 2, that all 10 units related questions in a descriptive manner is possible to ask from here in the section B of paper 1 which is descriptive, 5 questions is mandatory to write out of 8 questions. Okay, this is full clarity. Subjective, all units from respective subjects. Now, let's go to the paper 2. Paper 2, again 3 hours in the afternoon time. This is in the morning time. First paper in the morning time, 1 hour and 2 hours. Total 3 hours. Here also 3 hours. Section A, multiple choice questions from the respective subjects. Same again. This is also respective subject. Total 10 units are there, 10 units and each unit 5 questions, 10 into 5, 50 questions. So say commerce, total 10 units, 10 units into 5 questions, total 50 marks and 50 questions. Section A, same syllabus and your section B also same syllabus but the question level will be applying level, analytical level and evaluative level, creating level means second layer of the Bloom stack cement. This you can expect in a UGC net level, high level. Some high level you can expect moderate to advanced level questions, which is uh, in a descriptive manner they are going to ask from all units. Out of eight questions, five questions you need to write. In a descriptive manner, two hours time will be given, 10 marks for each, so 50 marks total. So the confusion was created on the section B of the paper one. It is also subject related because clearly mentioned, in respective subject. That's why they have not given any syllabus of the paper 1 separately. All the subjective syllabus only been mentioned in the website of T and TRD. This is what the clarity. And apart from this, what is the minimum qualifying criteria? For a general category, total out of 200 marks, 40 percentage is a minimum. Means 200 into 40 percentage. Minimum they have to get 80 marks pakka all together. And for uh, other categories, other than general categories, 30 percentage they can get. So that means 60 marks they need to get minimum out of 200 to be in the competitive, to be in the competitive zone. That uh, final selection will be based on the cutoff ultimately. And yeah, 30 marks for the interview will be there apart from this 20, uh, 200 marks. So 30 marks, how they are going to take it up? 9 marks for the content, what subject they have taken in an organized manner. 9 marks for the understandable and audible while presenting that is 9 marks and 6 marks for the how much you are proficient in the respective language if it is English or Tamil and 6 marks for the personal characteristics how much confident and how much calm disposition they are going to check all together total 30 marks is going to be there right this is the full clarity on the syllabus of the paper 1 paper 2 section A section B MCQ and descriptive model now if you look at Related to commerce, how many number of vacancies? Some people are asking other state students can apply it or not. You can apply, you are eligible. But at the end of the day, if you got selected, now you have to qualify in the Tamil. Tamil paper, there will be a two years of time will be given after the selection process. If you can clear that exam, you will be continued. Otherwise, you will be removed. So here all the commerce vacancies, major commerce 296, 14 in computer application, commerce specialization, e-commerce specialization 1. International business 21, cooperation 14, and sec company secretaryship 30, 
and uh, finance and accounts to insure banking and insurance is one total 379 vacancies are there common syllabus is only one that commerce is one common syllabus of uh, almost uh, business environment international business this common syllabus is there same as UGC net even though this is given in Tamil Nadu official gazette here commerce syllabus which is mentioned for paper 1 section A and paper 2 section A and B total 150 marks it is going to be there on your subject 150 marks it is going to be there on your subject total 150 marks is going to be there on your subject only 50 questions are from 25 from Tamil 25 from current affairs so unit 1 business environment international business same UGC net copy pasted syllabus not even single word change unit 2 accounting and auditing same UGC net business economics business finance business statistics and research methods and business management and HRM banking and financial institution marketing management legal aspects of business income tax and corporate tax planning everything same as UGC net syllabus which they have mentioned here right so this is what a total related to assistant professor Tamil Nadu syllabus related confusion whatever created and the scheme of examination I hope you like this and now you can start your preparation towards your respective subjects if at all you are an aspirant who is preparing for Tamil Nadu assistant professor commerce you can join into our UGC net course complete coverage comprehensive coverage is going on this will give a ability to solve or write the descriptive after this course now once you are completing the syllabus we will also try to uh, add or try to take a live session for the descriptive answer writing sessions because descriptive exam is going to be there so descriptive how you need to write is also most important so based on our previous experience we can guide you well there are numerous number of candidates who qualify for the JRF and net from Tamil Nadu from our classes and across India also you can see our videos previous sessions and previous videos also are available in the channel you can go with that so just entire commerce complete PDF material classes previous year questions and quizzes everything is going to be there for the commerce just at a 3600 only six months validity is going to be there because august is your exam up to that it will be sufficient enough to cover everything if you have any doubt you can approach on the given whatsapp number and you can log on to the given website which is showing here www.achievers.co.in there also it is available and you can download our app from the google play store all the links are provided in the description thank you so much please do hit a like button if you like it and do join in our WhatsApp group also, which is there in the description. Thank you.